Hi, I'm Bob Misano with Siemens Industry. Okay, the R2D will get affixed to the pipe using banding material. And these one, two, three, four, five pieces which need to be assembled, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. You're going to want to Start this one a few threads. Start this one a few threads and then link these in together like this. And then link the ends into the beginning of the make a strip strap kit. Okay, once you have this fixed in place, it's a better idea if you add some tape just to hold things in place so they don't fall apart as you're walking out to the pipe. Like that. Now we had pre assembled the RTD pieces earlier, and what I've done now is to just link the one end into the other end of the strap, and I'm going to fold it over to get it out of the way. And I'm going to tighten this down mostly. And there are two sides to tighten. And you want it to tighten it down mostly, but not entirely, because now I want to position I want to position this so that it's near the bottom of the pipe and out of the sun. Now here's the clamp on RTD. Um, you don't want to land the end of the wire until you screw this on, otherwise the cable will just ravel up. So position this to wherever it's easy to get to. You're going to have to put white thermal compound on here, which comes with the RTD. Now that I have it in here pretty much tight, I want to slide it to the location where we've removed the paint for the best thermal coupling between the RTD and the pipe. Now, it's advisable that we add insulation onto this RTD so as not to be influenced by the ambient temperature surrounding the pipe. Once the RTD is in its final position, make sure it's tightened down good, and then tighten the keeper nut and terminate the other end. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and call technical support.